So I guess uh, HHN just decides to announce everything on their website and not really give us any uh, warning about it, huh? What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is the Knights of Horror bringing you an update video for HHN 2018 in Hollywood uh, and then some of these properties are both Hollywood and Orlando or I should just say one mostly um, but we're going to get started with the main most recent announcement which was Poltergeist is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2018 I'm very excited about this, here is the promo video that they showed and then we'll talk a little bit about it after So that was the promo video that they showed for uh, Poltergeist, uh, and I have to say that they are doing the 1982 movie. I think uh, this is going to be an awesome, an awesome maze. I think it's going to be really cool. I cannot wait for this maze because I, I am very, very excited to see what kind of special effects they bring into this maze, uh, how this maze is going to be done, and stuff like that. Like always. I'm going to bring the, or I'm going to show you the tweets that Murdy put out uh, following the announcement. Um, he kind of did a, a funny one because he usually says by the uh, pre-green and by thumb, something wicked this way comes. Uh, he didn't do that for this announcement. Um, <laughs> and he kind of talks about that. So we're going to start out with uh, the Freeling family is a, li is a living the American dream, but very soon is going to turn into a nightmare. Things are looking up for Steve Freeling. Uh, as top salesman for a successful real estate development company, he's moved uh, his family to the company's latest development, uh, Cuesta Verde, an idyllic, an idyllic uh, housing estate in the sunny suburbs of Southern California. Life couldn't be better. But one night, his youngest daughter, Carol Ann, uh, begins talking to the TV people, strange eternal voices who reach out to their, who reach out to her through a dead signal on the television set. When Carol Ann goes missing, the family slowly become uh, slowly uh, comes to realize that she's been abducted by spirits occupying the uh, spectral plane between the world of the living and the realm of the dead. What the Freeling family doesn't know is that their house and the houses of everyone in their estate was built over a graveyard. The headstones were removed, but the bodies of the deceased were left behind. Once Carol Ann is abducted to the other side, it sets in motion a series of increasingly frightening paranormal occurrences that place a young daughter and her family in mortal danger. Welcome to Poltergeist, a new maze based on the classic 1982 film directed by Tobe uh, Hopper and produce, producer Steven Spielberg, the granddaddy of ghost stories that set the bar for every paranormal thriller that has followed it. This is one of those bucket list properties that we've been wanting to do for a very long time. We're very excited to bring the original Poltergeist at HHN 2018. Don't want to spoil the surprise. The stuff is to say we're hitting every major element in the film, bringing it all to life, which makes this most special, makes this the most special effects heavy maze we've ever done since The Exorcist. I saw Poltergeist in theater the summer it came out. I remember asking to see it over it, uh, E.T., which came out around the same time, and loving every frame of that film. It set the standard for every paranormal film to follow and had an amazing had amazing practical effects. This maze is being built down on the back lot in the metro set area. You can see the facade on the tram tour. It's the house that looks like Poltergeist. Um, so yeah, that's basically the synopsis of what this maze is going to be about. I'm very excited to, for Poltergeist to be coming. This was part of the leak lineup and this is going to be probably a really good maze if he says it's very special effects heavy. Um, that was an awesome uh, an awesome choice for a maze. I have never seen the movie. I'm going to go out and say that right now, so I'm very excited to even watch the movie. Um, but I, I know the basic premise of it. Uh, you know, they're here. 
uh, you know, the TV and everything, the clown and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to watch it when we do our uh, HHN marathon because we always do our HHN marathon uh, when the event comes closer to me and George. So that's going to be fun. The next thing that got announced for HHN, uh, and it kind of got announced uh, a little too early. It didn't mean to get announced, but then when it got announced, they kind of just left it up. Uh, the Terra Tram. So Terra Tram, we're getting our, our awesome Hollywood Harry icon back, um, and this should be cool. The Terra Tram is called uh, Terra Tram Hollywood Harry's uh, uh, Dread Time Stories, and I am very much looking forward to this. I loved Hollywood Harry the first time he came around, and that means that they are collaborating with um, Crypt TV again because Crypt TV was the one that advertised that a lot of him being cited around the Universal backlot so I'm very much looking forward to this coming around um, he didn't really say much about it he just brought up the fact that uh, we we experienced Hollywood Harry before and now he's coming back bringing back his Carney family and uh, they're gonna terrorize the backlot again so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen this time around for uh, the uh, you know for the the whole area of, um, of the Terra Tram. I want to see how they're going to decorate it, how it's going to go, um, and it should be fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, one of the things that got announced, and we were all ex ex <laughs> we were all expecting this one to be announced, and when they say no new show every year, it's really not. It's just the same dancing show, and no one really likes it. Is the Jabberwockies are making a return? Um, no one really cares about the Jabberwockies, though. It, honestly, I literally sit in that show because one, it's a good way to take a break, and two, it's air conditioned inside there. So if I have to sit through a shitty show just to sit in air conditioning and take a break, so be it. <laughs> uh, next though they announced every scare zone there's gonna be five again this year and I'm very excited for that so the first one is monster masquerade and the synopsis says step into the fog and shrouded uh, streets of old Paris and enter the dents of the dead a Mac Bray monster masquerade ball inspired by the original universal classic monster movies the phantom of the opera and the hunchback of Notre Dame so that should be pretty cool I'm a pretty big fan of phantom of the opera so that should be fun they're also doing, if you guys didn't know, on Midsummer Scream, he accidentally leaked that they're going to do a trick-or-treat scare zone, and the synopsis for that says, The frightening characters from writer-director Michael Doretti's anthology horror film Trick-or-Treat have descended on the small Midwestern town of Warren, Ohio during the annual Halloween celebrations. Lurking in the fog are vampires, werewolves, zombie school children, and Sam, the vengeful spirit of Halloween, who will stop at nothing to ensure his rules for the season are being upheld. Um, and then we got Hell's Harvest. Enter a pagan harvest festival where the dark spirit of Halloween was born. The streets are filled with strange bewitched dolls brought to life through the dark magic. The ar this army of evil dolls are looking for their next victim for the human sacrifice. Will it be you? Toxic Tunnels also making a return. Uh, there has been a terrible industrial accident deep inside the underground facility utility tunnel. Uh, the nausea, the nausea, the noxious, the noxious, the noxious vapor, vapors that were released have transformed the emergency workers into radioactive monsters filled with an uncontrollable rage and hell bent on our destruction. And of course, uh, we got this announcement a while back at another um, convention, uh, which is oh, at Monster Palooza. They announced Holidays in Hell, which we all know every day is Halloween in this, irre uh, in this uh, irreverent. Uh, send up of the holidays of the year encounter creepy cupids uh, le lecherous leprechauns and evil Easter bunnies as you take a terrifying trip through these psychotic psychotic seasonal celebrations screaming all the way so we got all the scare zones announced we got a new maze announcement we got the show announcement and we got the terror tram announcement all within the last week I am very much uh, still a little skeptical about the event uh, nonetheless I always have fun but I want to see what's going to happen as far as the last three announcements go. Um, a lot of people are speculating, of course, Universal Classic Monsters is going to be one of them, especially because the one scare zone of uh, Masquerade, uh, the Masquerade scare zone is obviously Phantom of the Opera and um, Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is taking place on Paris Street, and that's right next to the rumored Classic Monsters uh, maze. Uh, that uh, should be pretty cool. Also, we got leaked that Halloween 4 is coming to the event, and I think that's going to be at the Waterworld queue. Um, so that should be probably coming in the next week or two, so that should be pretty cool. Um, and then uh, the last rumored maze is Horrors of Blumhouse uh, 2, 
which means that they scrapped American Horror Story and American Horror Story will not be uh, returning this year. And I wonder if that has anything to do with the Disney buying out Fox. I have no idea. So that's it for announcements, guys. I am still a little skeptical about the event. Uh, I'm not hyped yet, but hopefully uh, as the event comes on and maybe as I go to the event, maybe I will get hyped. Um, we'll see. I'm very much looking forward to Horror May here the most so far, so yeah, guys. Thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry I sound and look depressed or something. I had literally just woken up and I turned on my camera and made this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave that like button. If you guys want to hear more HHN updates, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified when I release and drop a new HHN update video because they're going to be coming a lot pretty soon. We got three more maze announcements. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting one this week. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.